Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have a 4v4 on Arena. And in the green we have Frank. He's from New Zealand. Uh, his team match uh, ELO is about 2,000. And he's playing as the Cumans today. Next up we have Scandoff. I guess that's like Scandal and Gandalf. He's from Italy. And his team ELO is 2,600. And regular 1v1 is 1500 and change. Next up, we have President Joe Biden, who surprisingly is actually from Norway. Plot twist, guys. Um, and he is playing as the Indians, and his regular team match is 2150. Did I say what Scandalf is playing as? Did not. He's playing as the Goths. Um, and then lastly for this team, we have QTE Game, say hi to you. Uh, he's from Taiwan, playing as the Malay. And the only thing he has is unranked score, and that's 2,800 and change. Ranked number 98 for un unranked. So that's pretty dang good. Um, for the other team, uh, we'll go to Kyle Mingo. Kyle Mingo is from the UK. He only has unranked uh, as well. And he's 1600 and change. And he's playing as the Magyars. And in the purple, we have, I won't even try and say it, from uh, China. His team match is 2200. And his regular 1v1 ELO is 1200 and change. And he's playing as the Poles. And then in the gray, we have Ray Latino 91. Does not have a uh, country of origin on the AoE2 companion app, at least. So I'm not sure where he's from or her, whoever. Um, playing as the Chinese. And unranked score is 1900 and change. And then last but not least is Goodbye Horses. What a great name from Germany, playing as the Bohemians, uh, has a regular team match um, ELO score of 2,500 and change. So there we go, all the introductions. I always love doing a 4v4 in introductions, so much information to look up. <laughs> but back to Frank. So Frank is playing as the Cumans. And I think all the games up to this point that I've cast of Franks have been Black Forest. So this is something a little different, um, playing Arena. And if you know anything about the Cumans, you know that the Cumans get um, the Siege Workshop and Feudal Age, and they can build rams. It's the only Civ that can do that. And then they get access to capped rams in Castle Age. So what we're going to see is a little uh, combination effort between Frank uh, building uh, early rams and Scandoff playing uh, as Goths building those uh, cheap militia line units. I think uh, he goes men in arms into long swords. So we're going to speed it up a little bit. And Green is sending his Vildor forward. Looks like he'll build a house in blue's base everyone on their way to feudal age frank makes it first then scanned off building a siege workshop and a blacksmith and already queued a little bit of glitching going on there cool. and as i said uh, Blue getting these cheap gothic men at arms out early. And the only person that's not in Feudal Age yet is poor Goodbye Horses. There you go. Last but not least on introductions and on Feudal Age, immediately builds his blacksmith and market. Has enough resources almost in the bank to go to Castle. But, uh,. Already on their way is the Frankish, or not Frank, <laughs> well I guess they are Frankish because it is Frank, the Cumin Rams, 
coming forward. Red flaring to let uh, Goodbye Horses know. And if you aren't aware, rams actually move faster whenever you garrison infantry uh, inside of them. And just like that, this this gate is just in flames going down quickly. Um, orange trying to get a gate up behind it. Actually, if uh, blue and green have been paying attention, nobody got through there a little bit sooner. But no biggie. Already they are in. And Orange is trying to figure out what to do. What are you going to do? He's on his way to Castle Age. 36%. Trying to delay. But uh, he's got two rams and a whole bunch of men at arms already in his base. Can I try and build a watchtower for a little extra defense? This is his only TC and the one that's researching Castle Age. He's got to try and keep it up. That means bringing back your villagers and trying to keep this TC up. It's down to 600. A third ram coming in. 400. Repair, 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 repair. No. This TC's going down. Oh, man. It honestly seems like a pretty successful and viable strat. Granted, Orange was late, you know, getting up, but... Uh, Seems like a pretty good strat as far as arena play goes. And that tower goes down too. Orange trying to run away now. If there was a couple of uh, light cav or even knights, there there wouldn't be hardly any escaping. Getting chased down by long swords or men in arms. And Orange's base is decimated. Orange is now down to 16 villagers. <laughs> we'll attempt a quick gate and add insult to injury. Got a freaking tiger chasing him down. Orange can't catch a break. Down to 15 villagers. 13 villagers. We'll attempt to fight here with villagers, just to stay alive. Ano. Blue even bringing a scout over here. <laughs> oh man, down to ten villagers, running right past Gray, where he could have tried to he could have tried to hide in Gray's base. He's he's gonna keep running out in the open. None of his teammates are sending anything to help him. Um, purple is in the middle of a 4 TC boom. Sorry, can't be bothered. I know you're getting massacred, but uh, good luck. Poor Orange is now down to 5 villagers. We'll keep running. And the Rams are moving on. Well, I say that. Just hung a U-turn. Dad gum. <laughs> Orange says dad gum. <laughs> Uh, two players from each team are in Castle Age now. Orange is going to run all the way over to Red's base here. He, he doesn't want to be anywhere near what's about to happen to Gray. And let's see if Frank is close to being in Castle Age or not. Okay, he just clicked up. 18% of the way. So once he clicks up, he can uh, get these rams turned into cap rams. Um, he's got enough, though. I don't know why. I mean, he could... Gray doesn't have any any, any military, really. Just a couple men-at-arms. He could easily come in here and try and take Gray out. But he's going to hold off and get that upgrade first. And the uh, purple here is really booming. As, as a... You know, playing against the poles, you can really afford to boom especially as pocket but uh, if you lose everybody on your flanks it's not gonna be a whole lot going for you orange is trying to rebuild here got a whopping five villagers who's gonna repair this yeah he is <laughs> that's a whole lot of resources for whoever wants to come and take it didn't even get a chance to finish taking his berries jeez Purple sending more villagers to stone, it looks like. Let's check on Teal. What's Teal doing? 
just booming. Boom, boom, boom. And so far, really, it's just been green and blue doing everything. Yellow and teal are just content to boom. Yellow adding in a crap ton of farms. This must be part of Joe Biden's green energy plan or something. <laughs> Alright, so green is now in no Castle Age. So I expect these uh, battering rams to be, yeah, almost there with capped rams. And did blue, he uh, get the... Wait. Okay, and, and blue got the, the longsword upgrade. Meanwhile, gray has used this extra time to do absolutely nothing. Um, still has Google just the same two-minute arms that he had before. Fantastic job there, Gray. And he's got right. freaking six capped rams on his doorstep. That's going to blast right through this. I love how the market goes on fire behind it because of the damage that occurs behind things that get hit by rams. Crazy. You know what? I'm going to take out your blacksmith, too. Just so you can't get any upgrades on your non-existent army. Psych. Just kidding. Oh, yeah. There you go, Gray. Good idea. Those skirms are really going to do a great job Ooh, against capped high. rams. He did get longsword on his three, uh, three men in arms. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, look. Goodbye, horses mate to Castle Age. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, great. You didn't stand a chance, buddy. You saw what happened to Orange and gave up the ghost. Orange says, good game. But he hasn't resigned. He sent a villager forward to get attacked by a one hit point tiger and lose it. Dude, if you just turned around one hit and you would have survived. Scandoff says good game as well. And moving on. Not even going to bother taking out the rest of this base because Gray already resigned. And Purple adding in a bunch of house walls does not want Green getting in here. I mean, between the the TCs and the folk works, I mean, this is mega boom. You know, if Purple had put a little effort into helping his allies, maybe they wouldn't have all been decimated or resigned. But uh, he's pocket and he wants to just boom. It's fine. I don't need allies anyway. I mean, this thing has got a pop cap of, what, 200? Yeah, 200. It's fine. They'll be able to build 800 to my 200 when I'm the last person playing. I, I saw Goodbye Horse to say good game, but I didn't see him I resign. Know. Well, goodbye, goodbye, horses. So long, partner. And purple, inside of Imperial Age now, the second per player to reach it. Red sending over some uh, Magar Hazar. They'll take out the Rams, but they're not going to do too well against these uh, long swordsmen. And the night spam is coming out for the Polish player. But I think it's going to be a little too late and not enough. Has six, seven stables now. You know, long swordsmen used to not be very viable. They've gotten some buffs recently, and when you get them amassed, especially when they're they're goth, so they're cheap. I mean, they can do some pretty good damage. President Joe Biden is now in Imperial Age as well. And old Kyle resigning. Didn't even really get attacked. Did Kyle stay on one TC the entire time? Oh my gosh, Kyle. Kyle! Purple now getting Cavalier. So now it's 
it's a one-man army. It's just purple versus all four of the other team. And he's got quite the economy, but um, it's not going to be enough, buddy. It's really not going to be enough. Building a house forward. Okay. Interesting. He does have 103 villagers. Um, President Joe Biden has 138. And QTE Games Say Hi to You, 141. Some booming fools over here. Doing all this booming and not a whole lot of fighting. Built some bombard cannons though. And Purple sending his cavalier forward will push Frank's Kuman Kipchak back. I gotta say, I love playing as Poles and I love doing their knight slash cavalier spam. Or even their wing to sar spam. It's so much fun. And sending... Okay, alright. A folk work in the open. I mean, you've got room right here. I don't know why you're going to do that in the open where you're easily raided and exposed. That's super ballsy, especially whenever it's one versus four. But okay! Oh, and another one. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Two of their players have higher score than I have, but it's fine. I don't need allies. I'm Chinese. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna try and do? Is he gonna he's gonna try and attack blue? I mean teal's closer. I guess he wants to go after blue because blue's got the lowest score. I don't know. He's got five TCs. And these dang tigers. Gonna build a Ford Siege Workshop as well. Okay. Alright, that's a lot of Cavalier. Not gonna lie. Frank just hit Imperial Age. Now it's just Gandalf that's in Castle Age. And you know, in a Ram or a Petard or two would uh, got you to this, this wall a whole lot faster. Because now they're gonna start delaying behind it. Drive by shooting here. These tigers are out in force today. They must have ate their frosted flakes. Don't run into castle fire! Alright, pulling back. I mean, this game is over with. I mean, I guess purple is just flexing right now. Oh, look at that. Imperial Camel Riders from Joe Biden. Thanks, Joe Biden. There we go, GG. Yeah, this game was over pretty much as soon as Gray resigned, maybe even as soon as Orange resigned. But uh, what do you guys think of that strat? A Kuman player and a Goth player, you could even do it 2v2, but, uh, you know, one player maximizing the benefit of, of cheaper uh, militia line units and the other player maximizing the benefit of getting rams and feudal age. I think it's a pretty fun strat, and so I decided to cast it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you later.